Catherine. It's Michelle for We Fly. So, I know I look really pretty right now. And this is my apartment. Um, I have your feedback. Um, I watched the video a couple times. Um, so I'm just going to go over some general notes. Um, so, first of all, I love it. It's amazing. Um, I love your style. I love that it's really smooth and fluid. It looks really beautiful. Um, at about 28 seconds, um, I was wondering why you turned away from the pole and let go of the pole and went away from it just to come back to it because I feel like you started with this really beautiful flow. It looks really, really nice in the beginning and it's fluid and it's pretty and then you break away from it and then you come back and you continue this really nice spin flow pass and I was um, hoping or wishing actually that it just kind of continued like you opened with just this continuous spinny flow 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 just doing exactly what you're doing um, so my question was why you turned away from the pole and if there was a reason um, and it's a meaningful reason then by all means keep it and do it just maybe make it a little bit more intentional if that makes sense um, because it's just it's really beautiful and really fluid in the beginning and I want you to know that and I want you to keep doing what you're doing um, and if you're having a moment that means something that breaks that that's great too it's an artistic choice but I want it to be um, I wanted to make sense for someone who's watching it. Um, so that's just a little note. At um, about 105, I love the brass bridge. I love how you got into it. I love that pass. It looks beautiful. I love what you did after that, the Nadia flow. I know she taught that when she was visiting, and that looks awesome. Um, at about 144, you get into a butterfly, which looks beautiful, and it's at a great angle. But then it seems like you're opening it up like you're going to go into like the middle split straddle on the pole, but you don't. You just kind of open and then come back. And that movement was a little confusing to me, too. Um, it was like, are you going to the middle split and you didn't get there right away? Or you decided not to go all the way down there or I don't know that um, movement choice was just a little confusing to me so maybe something to think about um, and we can talk about that in person later too um, but I just was a little confused about where you were going with that movement um, oh so your floor work that starts at about two minutes um, and this was one of your notes too, is yeah, slow it all down, milk it, milk every moment. Um, I think floor work is actually really hard and really important, but it can also be sort of a resting place for your pole. So when you get to the floor, um, make it really exaggerated, like that arch up when you reach up in like a cobra position, I think you could really milk that even longer and ha take a, literally take a breath in that position. Fill your lungs with air, have a moment, have a breath, and then it'll just look nicer as well. Um, and then you go into like a split, again, milk it, milk that split, get down into it slower, stretch it out, really just take a breath in those moments and you know point your toes make every cell of your body from your fingertips to your hair to your toes feel that split in that floor work in your body against the floor I think that might help you in terms of slowing down your timing um, and then when you do your chest stand um, and that um, hold or that pose I think that's beautiful it's amazing that you're doing that I love it um, but then I do see how you were asking about uh, how to transition out of that to the pole. And I think, again, slowing it down. Um, but I would, instead of putting my feet down out of that hold, I would chest roll. Because I think chest rolls are really beautiful. So you have your feet in sort of a stag. What if you brought your feet together, like in a fang, and chest rolled out of it? Then you could do another um, reach, arch up, or just kind of like a stripper push up back. Those two movements are sort of what happens naturally to your body after you do a chest roll. So chest roll out of it, 
do some sort of stripper push-up or a reach-up, and then maybe a roll into a jazz slide um, that I think you're you're doing, but again, you can um, just smooth out that transition from the chest roll, some sort of movement out of that into a roll into the jazz slide to get you to the next pull. Um, I think that would work really well. You have the elements there, um, but it's just about slowing it down, smoothing it out, and maybe adding a different transition from the chest stand to um, getting to the other pole. I hope that makes sense. It's hard to explain on video, um, but maybe if we have like a second in the studio, we can go over that. Um, cause I did, I did, that was one of your questions and I did notice that was a little bit of like a weak point in the piece. So, but I think it's really, really easy to fix. Very easy to fix. Um, and then your last passes were great. Just make sure that your inverts are clean. If you're doing them with straight legs, make sure they are straight legs. Um, and if you're going to bend and extend them, just bend and extend them and make sure that is the most beautiful bend and extension you've ever done in your life. Um, and then your jade looks great. Um, just drill it. Make sure that you are making it the best jade you've ever done in your whole entire life. And it's really about that back leg, squeezing that quad, pointing that toe, extending out long, 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 long. Um, so you can just see it going around and around on that spin pull, like how beautiful your legs are, how perfect the line is. And then you finish, you know, with the spinning and it's beautiful. It is a really beautiful piece. I'm really proud of you. Um, I know it takes a lot of work to put a piece together and practice it and run it and drill it and the choreography process is challenging, so it's beautiful, and um, I, I like that you have your own style, and you're true to your style, and it's really fluid and pretty, um, and it's, it's really, really, really great. You are doing an awesome job, so at this point, you are in a really great place. I think you just need to fix just those few little things um, that I mentioned about um, just kind of the weird moments in the beginning where you turn away from the pole um, because it's just so fluid in the beginning. I love it so much. <laughs> um, uh, all your other flows are great. Um, the butterfly thing was a little weird to me, so just think about that a little bit. And then the slowing down of the floor work and just milking it, taking some breaths, literally choreographing in where you're breathing sometimes helps. Um, and choreographing in where you're looking um, at every single moment helps as well. Um, and then just figuring out that process from the floor work, from the static pole to the spin pole, and just making that those elements kind of flow together um, more, I hate this word, organically, but organically. Um, because you have all the elements there, it just needs to be smoothed out. And then just cleaning, it is clean, but just making sure it stays clean, um, your, your final pass. Um, I think what you have to do now, too, is just run it, you know? And you said you maybe weren't on your music um, as you could have been, and that's, that's fine. That's what a rehearsal is for. Um, but if you know your music and you feel comfortable with all of the movement that you are doing on the pole, you know that you're not gonna waver, you're not gonna slip, you're not gonna fall, you're not gonna forget. Um, and you just run it and run it and run it and you feel really confident and really good about it, then when you are on the stage, you're gonna be nervous. You might be a little slippery. The poles might be cold. You know, you're going to have all these random elements that you cannot prepare for. So that might make you perform to about like a 70% of what your 100% could be on the most perfect day in the studio. So your 70% has to look like 100%. Any element that the stage and the performance day is going to throw at you, um, you're going to have to battle it, but no one will see that you're battling any type of unseen element because you are so well rehearsed, you know your movement, you feel so strong and confident in it, you know exactly what you're doing, where you're looking, where you're breathing, where the beats are, where the music is, that no matter what happens, you are still going to nail it. 
um, even if you are cold or slippery or whatever. So I really am a firm believer in rehearsals and practice and drilling it, not to the point of exhaustion and muscle failure, but to the point that it's just in you. And when you get onto the stage, you can take a deep breath and you can experience every moment on stage. It's not going to be relaxing. Um, it's not going to feel like you're just, you know, freestyling and running it for your friends in the studio. You're, there's going to be a lot of elements of anxiety and excitement and nerves and all that good and bad stuff. Um, so it's hard to just be in the moment and enjoy it. Um, but as, as much as you can practice and rehearse and get it in your body, the more you will be able to just kind of enjoy it and let go and just feel everything that you're doing. Of course, you're going to have this, um, internal verbalizing of what you're doing, you know, put hand here now, make sure you hit this beat now, you have three seconds to hold this before you have to move this, and remember to point your toes, that's going to happen, um, but that's internally, um, so just externally, you'll be able to just smile and breathe and appear as if you are just enjoying every moment, and uh, that is totally doable um, and you are already there because it looks so beautiful and it looks so fluid but just know that all that stuff is going to be happening in your brain and with your body um, and if you just keep doing what you're doing clean it up get comfortable with it find your moments of breath find your moments of where you're looking and find your moments of specific musicality you're going to be amazing yay um I hope that helped. I hope I didn't talk too fast or too much. Um, I do that. But I think it's great. And you're going to be amazing. And if you need any more help, um, just you know where to find me. Bye.